Welcome back. Today I'll be installing the Go pedal in the 2024 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. So I have it with the 6.6 .6 gas engine. This is probably one of the quickest mods you can do that gives you uh, the, the instant results and noticeable. So I'll walk you through the steps. It should take maybe five minutes of your time to do this, uh, but then you have lots of options when it comes to how the pedal reacts to your foot. You can also completely shut off the pedal. Uh, they call it protect mode, um, so that if somebody does get in your car and steal it, they can start it up, but the pedal won't work. So all kinds of fun stuff you can do with this pedal. Um, so stick around. So the basics of this install are you unplug the, the, the pedal. You'll notice that there's a plug at the top. You'll plug this one in to the pedal. You'll plug this one into uh, the original harness. We'll plug into it. And then this one plugs into the box. So really all that you're doing is you're intercepting the signal, running it to the pedal, and then that runs back and to the engine. This one tells it which map you would like to use, and it that's it. it that's it. It really is just a simple install. Um, I'll give you my impressions when I'm finished with this. So right here at the top of the pedal, you can see the, the red plug right there. And really all you have to do is uh, lift up the, the locking mechanism and get that thing out of there. Once you get to this point, now it's just plug and play. That really is the hardest part of the installation. Next, but the next step is to put this in. It's locked in there. And now you need to find a location where you want to put this. In my last installation, I put it behind this panel. And I think I'm going to do that again. Now that I have the uh, the brain of it installed, I'll go ahead and clean this up and zip tie these guys so that they're out of the way and it's a nice clean install. Next, you'll either want to decide where you're going to locate this or download the app to your phone to control which map you're going to use with the pedal. The last step is to go ahead and turn the vehicle on without starting it. And once you do, you'll fully depress the accelerator pedal for two seconds. So I'm turning it on. And hold the throttle down for two seconds. And that's the install. So now when you start it up, you can adjust and it'll tell you that right now it's off. And then I'm going to put it with enough experience. I know that I want it in sport mode. And then you can see that it's in the uh, fourth map there. So when you barely press the throttle, you get some uh, instant response. And here you can see the maps. 
So here are the maps, the different modes that you can have. You can have traffic, eco, sport, and race. Race gives you massive response from just a small throttle input. Um, and your traffic and eco are a lot slower response than stock. So I tend to stay here in, in the sport mode when I'm running it and enjoy it, at least have on previous vehicles. Now that I've got this completely installed, I'm gonna take it for a spin and give you my final impressions. So impressions on the install. For uh, best bang for the buck, this is definitely something you'd like to invest in. This is good, I know they make one for the Duramax as well. Uh, I've got it on the 6.6 .6 gas engine. It wakes it up. That's what you want. If you want throttle response when you press and get some instant feedback, this is the way to go. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Check it out. Give these guys uh, some of your business because they are good. It's Madness Auto Works. They're here in Texas and they also have a location in California. So uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.